the condition between the black male and the black female and or the condition between the white male and the white female the condition between males and females to me seems akin to a chicken and egg scenario and that's the age-old question what came first the chicken or the egg well i believe someone answered that and i always thought of the answer before it was officially answered by scientists at some point i guess but i thought of the answer and i believe my answer was correct uh, you can check and see if my answer matches my theory was that the chicken came first and the reason why the chicken came first is because in order to have a chicken egg you need to have a chicken and i suppose that some type of bird species related to the archaeopteryx some odd millions of years ago evolved to become a chicken it was a bird it was a it was a reptile that that had long uh long feather uh long long hairs those hairs modified it started off running on the ground then started hopping hopped longer and longer distances started gliding and then eventually uh it grew uh wings out of those hairs um those proteins modified to grow wings so we have a chicken and an egg scenario with uh and i'm going to talk about black women and black men today but this applies to all women and all men we have a chicken and an egg scenario who started it was it black men that abandoned black women or is it black women that abandoned black men was it and 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 vice versa was it men was it men that caused a hostile environment so that women would feel like they needed to take care of themselves? Or was it women that got spoiled from an environment that men created that caused men to walk out? I, I don't know. Maybe I'm not phrasing it right. But the reason why I call this video Chivalry is Not Dead is because I noticed this about myself, and I'll be honest. Um, I'm chivalrous towards a certain generation of women. I've noticed that, and I'm gonna talk about black women, but I'll talk about women in general, but I'm gonna say black women. I've noticed that a certain generation of black women treat me like respect, with, with respect, especially if they've had, or if they have sons or nephews. They've treated me in a way that was welcoming. They've looked out for me and they're currently looking out for me. One of my superiors is an older uh, black female and she's always given me little little tips to navigate in around uh, the, the office po politics and things like that. And uh, she's always given me opportunities to be able to show and prove what I can do in the workplace. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go out here and say and I've never said I've never had the notion that all women were the same. They all say they all share some base characteristics, but today's women haven't suffered the hardship of of the times that the women of yesteryear have have experienced. And this woman who's my superior, she's also married and she's been married for a long time. I don't know if you can hear me over this rain, but we're getting some we're getting some mondo rain out here. I was trying to figure out what I was going to do um, if I was going to go to if I was going to go to martial arts if I was going to go straight there or if I was going to uh, go back to the crib first. Obviously, if I go back to the crib, it's possible that I might not go to jujitsu, but um, I should take my ass there. We'll see where where uh, the spirit moves me. Maybe I'll just go to class tomorrow. Anyways, let me stop deliberating about uh, my schedule and just get back to what I was saying. These women from older generations, I tend to do serverless things for. Uh, I'll tend to open or hold the door for them, and they always thank me. Uh, they, I, I'll tend to help them carry things uh, or offer to carry things, and they express their gratitude. And in certain circumstances, if I'm in the metro, I'll if there's an old woman, well, of course, that's the rule. If the person's old, you're supposed to let them sit down. But, I mean, granted... To me, it's more of a, it's more of a, and I was raised around 
uh, my grandparents were from the South. So I was raised around older folk and I'm more comfortable operating with older folks that have something to teach me that I can learn from rather than, uh, you know, getting turned up. I, I tried that. Uh, anyone less than 50 years old, uh, to me, I would say that they're pretty much um, they're pretty much on that on that other shit that a lot of us talk about. But I don't really think that chivalry. I, I think that I don't think that chivalry is dead. My my opinion is that my chivalry is dead to a degree when it comes to dealing with the opposite sex for the purposes of mating. But when it comes to niceties and courtesy and things like that and politics where I don't have a sexual connection with the female, then I would say that, no, chivalry is not dead. Well, anyways, uh, that's all I gotta say for now. Those are my thoughts. Melling, Swag, Cry, MGTOW. Till I die, and I'm out, peace.